Hi and welcome to the absolutely stunning Aphrodite Hills Golf Resort here in Cyprus. My name is Chris Ryan and in this video we're talking all about the driver and we're just going to run through a really good concept that you can have next time you're practicing with the driver which is going to help you use the body to generate a little bit more club head speed and ultimately get you to hit that ball a little bit further. So certainly driver really there's only two things we're trying to do we're trying to hit the ball in play and we're trying to get that ball a really good distance down the fairway and this i tend to see helping a lot of golfers with the first part of that which is helping that ball go a pretty long way it's a concept and we're talking really about how we use the body and how we can generate some power through the body to ultimately get some more club head speed now we're talking here about weight shift or pressure shift and we're going to discuss the differences and then an idea that you can take to your practice range now if i take my setup let's say i wanted to create a perfectly balanced setup where my weight is 50 50. now that may be incorrect or correct we'll leave that for another video and we're just going to use some easy numbers so let's say i weighed 10 stone now i know some of you maybe elsewhere in the world use different sort of measurements for weight pounds kilograms whatever it may be but we're just going to use 10 stone now if i was standing on two scales this would read five and this would read five so five and five my weight is in the middle weight moving my weight forward let's say like this would make that scale read 10 uh, 10 stone and if i move my weight back this would weigh 10. So that would be me, me moving my weight. This is not what we do in the golf swing. What I actually want you to try and feel is in the golf swing, you're going to get what we call heavier to help you get lighter. So we're thinking about this lead foot. Now, as we said, a setup, if I was 50 50, this would say five stone and this would say five stone. In the back swing, I want this scale to read less than five stone. So we're going to take some weight or some pressure off that lead foot. So that would be the common sort of idea of moving some pressure into this right side. If we do that, we'll take some pressure off this lead side. However, this is where it starts to get different. Once you've made your back swing, I want you to get that scale under your left side. Okay, obviously there isn't scale there, but this is a concept to read as high a number as you can. So I'm not simply going move my weight, it now reads 10. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to, from the top, push down to get that reading as high as it can. So maybe 15, 20 stone. So I'm gonna go this way and I'm gonna push down. It's gonna read 10 or 20 stone. And then as I hit the ball, it's going to read a much lower number again. So we're close to zero as I start to turn and push away. So it's what we call get heavier to get lighter. Once I've made my backswing, I'm going to get heavier under my left side and I'm then going to get through impact, I'm going to get lighter through my left side. So as you can start to see, it's not simply a case of moving weight. Moving weight is simply taking your mass and distributing it somewhere else. That is not the way to generate speed. That is not what we try to do in the golf swing. In the golf swing, we try to move pressures. The more pressure I can create under my left side, the more that scale is gonna read a higher number. And then I wanna take that force, that pressure to help me push out and around. And that's where I really ultimately generate some more speed in the club head. So I really, really like this drill for a lot of golfers because it really does enable them to generate some more speed. However, they don't often have too many technical thoughts there. It's a concept, it's an idea. I'm building a picture in your mind so that when you're stood there with your driver, you can start to create those sort of feelings that match that image that's in your mind. If we can get lighter, heavier, and then lighter, this is a very, very good way to use your body efficiently and ultimately generate some more speed. Right, let me have a go. So I'm gonna get heavier, sorry. Left side is gonna get lighter, it's then gonna get heavier, and it's then gonna get lighter again. So, nice balanced setup. Lighter, heavier, lighter. Okay, a little bit of the right hand side, but that's pretty good. And I would take that. So if you look at a golf swing, certainly in slow motion, you may well see through impact some movement in that lead foot as they're striking the golf ball. And that's very simply because there's not a lot of weight on that foot. It's got lighter. I did a video on this a couple of weeks ago. Go and check that out if you haven't already seen it. Right, thank you very much for watching. Big thank you again to Aphrodite Hills for hosting me for a few days. Big thanks to Golf Breaks for making this happen. Hopefully you like that video. All the usual stuff is down below, the like box, the comments box and there's also a link to subscribe to the channel so if you haven't done already click that link and it'll just get you first access to the videos thanks again for watching we'll see you again soon